three to one on Lauren Valley Bear. We're getting close here in the twelfth. Philly Mare is lining up in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate for tonight's 12th race. Vance Cameron, take it away. Mrs. Dragonfire, outrageous spirit. That's me a bad. Fluentosity, Lorne Valley Barb, Claire Hall, Hanover. Traces of purple, J.J. Gracie on the grandstand side. Top of the stretch. Approaching a start. Finale time, rough gated up the rail, Mrs. Dragonfire. There they go, off and pacing, and leading them out is Outrageous Spirit. Into the turn, that's me, a bad is second. From the outside, traces a purple third. Racing fourth is Mrs. Dragonfire. Moving up fifth outside, J.J. Gracie. Then in six on the cones, Fluentosity. Away seventh, Lorne Valley Barb, and the trailer, Claire Hall Hanover. Traces of purple, moving to the lead for the Blue Knight. Jason Hughes racing from second towards that inside as they move past the quarter out. Rage's Spirit. That's me a bad in third. Mrs. Dragon Fire fourth. 29 and won the opening quarter. J.J. Gracie took his seat in fifth and racing from sixth. Fluentosity. Lorne Valley Barb is seventh and Claire Hall Hanover is trailing the field. They're approaching the opening half mile. Here comes the backfield in motion. On the front at the midway point. Traces of purple. Second is Outrageous Spirit. First up, Mrs. Dragon Fire in third. Following her on the outside, fourth is J.J. Gracie. That's Mia Bad will ride the rail fifth. Racing six up the inside, Lorne Valley Barb, the post-time favorite, has a lot of work to do. Outside in seven, Fluentosity and the trailer, Claire Hall Hanover. They move to the back stretch for the final time. Traces of purple is the leader. Misses Dragon Fire between horses and coming three wide on the outside. Fluentosity is coming late. Then towards the rail. That to me a bad. The three quarters in one. 28 and 1 with an 8 left to go. Fluentosity on the outside. Had her nose in front. Traces up purple along the rail. That's outrageous spirit. Third. Lorne Valley Barb is coming late, but it's too late. Deep stretch and Fluentosity for Dowling on the line. Second traces of purple. Outrageous spirit. Third. 157 2. Okay, we're going to get a look at the slow-mo here presented by Universa Media. And Traces of Purple did get to the front here and got things all her own way. 29 and 1 from post 7 half, 58 and 3. Mrs. Dragonfire and Heffernan came first up. J.J. Gracie second up. And third over was the four flu and Tosity. And I didn't see this trip coming, but she raised super here tonight. Dowling up the back stretch, heading to three quarters, 128 and 1. He flipped the switch and tipped her three wide, and she really responded, and they battled down the lane between Traces of Purple and Fluentosity, and it's Fluentosity getting up in the final strides to nail it here on the line. She gets the job done in the finale. 157 and 2 is the mile. The seven Traces of Purple gets the deuce, and I believe Outrageous Spirit and Murner get the show dough. So it's a 4-7-2 try here in the finale at Red Shores. Fluentosity arriving at the 12th race winner's circle. Bay pacing mare six by well said from the real artist damn real velocity. 
Owned by Shane and Blaine Baglow of Cornwall, trained by Blaine Baglow. David Dowling with a catch driving call to the winner's circle. 157 and 2, the time for the mile. For Fluentasi, that's her 20th lifetime victory.